It was gray as far as the eye could see. When I put up my hand, I could discern a bit of pale skin until the fog closed in on me again. I calculate that I could probably wait another 10 minutes before I start to cut. There was hardly any traffic today, unless you count the crowds. What else was new? A hulking figure loomed out the mist. He was wearing an old flag jacket and corduroy pants. Soon I could see his familiar gray beard and black marks. Traffic. Sorry, Julie. Been waiting long? Not long. How can you see to bike, taking your life in your hands? I just followed the car lights. There are still too many, even with the ban. The laws was change, but corruption doesn't. Julie and Professor Mark walked toward the ministry, skirting an underground taxi cab. Here we are. The ministry of foreign affairs building appeared like a giant fish in the gloom. I looked for the distinct glow outside, but it was hidden in the smoke. We hurried up the steps and went in to meet Li Wei. The deputy minister led us to the elevator. In the elevator, there were whispers about the difficulties of evacuations given the politics. Beijing had been inundated too, over the newly created island were helping. By the time they arrived at Deputy Lee's office on the third floor, they had passed through six more security doors. Lee sat on one couch and gestured for them to take the other. She poured herself a glass of water, and she almost cooked. It was real water, clean, untreated water. It tastes like a spring. Lee smiled at her attempts to cover her soap. Tibet. He said, I thought you wanted to discuss the upcoming semester. You told me you had new projects for our agri-tech students, that you needed me to bring my assistant Julie. Well, it's true, I do have new projects. My contract is with the university through June, then I'm on loan to Moscow until September. I think their faculty of soil science is very good. Soil science, do they also have a problem with permafrost? In Siberia, sure, methane is a serious issue. You do realize what's at stake. What's at stake? For the planet, or for you? Surely you don't want to discuss ecological problems on the plateau. Why not? Who better to help design a new future for our citizens? So, what are you getting at? We all need the same things, the exact same. What if you could really design a prototype for a home that would be self-generating and self-sustaining, not only in terms of energy, but in terms of food and water? Would you be willing to help me with an experiment? Maybe, after I get back from Russia. Forget Russia. I have a place in the mountains that will interest you infinitely more than Moscow. Sogdzong. You are, of course, invited. And when would you want us to start? Immediately. Why not take two days to wrap up your work at the university and notify Moscow? I'll have your airline tickets and permits ready. Are you okay with this, Julie? Sure. Well, then, thank you for this offer. We accept. Moments later, he is gone, and I hurry to the subway to go home, squinting eyes until I'm safe in the underground. I joined many people headed for Chenyang Terminal and a tape on my cart. The train gets to Wudaku Station. Subways are more crowded than ever, apart from having a crush on people or you can get caught in the between carriage doors. The subways is being expanded, but still not enough. When I got to my bedroom, I immediately rushed to put the bag and clean the body and I started packing from putting clothes, equipment such as notebook and others. And then Mark came to my room to help me pack for our departure tomorrow while talking.
asking about the greenhouse because my room near the greenhouse. Beijing International Airport has not changed much since my last time is here, except for NH security everywhere. It's better and brighter inside. One by one, Mark and Lee came and met me in the lobby. Then Lee gave me a ticket. We travel with an ordinary South China flight. The plane is small because air travel has been minimized. When we arrived at our destination, we immediately continued our journey by car. On the way, I asked the driver to stop for a moment because I wanted to pee. Afterward, I stood up and I could see mountains in the distance. Green, we in the countryside right now. And at high altitude, I hold on, breathe the clear and fresh air and feel the sun on my face until they asked me to back into the car. Finally, we arrived at home in very beautiful house on the edge of the mountain with a very beautiful view. What a comfortable and safe place to live in. When we got there, we were immediately to eat the dishes that had been prepared. After that, we enjoyed the sunset with a cup of tea. Mark and I started to talk. See, how beautiful place. Yes, this is a beautiful place that I ever see. Don't you think I have already considered this? Don't you think I care about my countrymen, my country? People think we Chinese only care about our own. That's not true. This planet is also our home. Well then, why shouldn't I return to Beijing? You're a scientist, a realist. You know your work is too little, too late for the masses. You will be the head of food production, and you will be my wife. Wife? I'll give you six months for a start, but I want a contract, and a real budget not a university grant. Julie is quiet. She is only think the answer. And then they talk and laugh with other friends until the night came.